today we go badass. We've got punches and ab intervals. Shadow boxing hit up next. All right, as mentioned, we've got 28 rounds. 30 seconds is your combination, followed by 30 seconds of an ab exercise. 10 seconds to rest before you move on to the next round. Let's begin. Here we go, round one, jab, cross, one, two. Take those hands up and over, boom, boom. Nice, we're gonna keep it super light again because we are just starting. We've got 20 more seconds left. I just want you to throw two punches and then move. Throw two punches, then move, jab, cross, pretty basic. Pop, pop, start to breathe. And once you feel more comfortable, this is when you start picking up your pace just a little bit. Most importantly, keep those punches loose, shoulders loose. In three, two, one. All right, let's take it down. Our first abdominal exercise is the crunches. Legs down, we're gonna hold it for three and then bring it back down. All you're doing is you're lifting, holding it for a little bit and then bring it back down. Shoulder blades off the ground. Up, two, three, back down. Up, hold it for three back down good use your exhale use your breath boom nice 10 more seconds just find that crunch up top find that hold up top five more seconds here you got it yes and take it up shake it loose round one is done we are going to repeat round one and round number two we're repeating every two rounds so we're going back to that one two let's go boom boom here we go finding that rhythm this time, you know exactly what to do. Turn those hands over, All right, boom, boom. Again, keeping it pretty basic. This time, just get a little bit more aggressive, perhaps, right? Uh-huh, building the energy up, boom, boom. Good, 10 more seconds. That's it, looking good. Make sure you are moving in between those punches, right? Got some footwork, maybe a little bit of head movement action. There you go. Taking it back down to our core exercise, or abdominal. We hold that crunch up top for about three seconds. That's it. Got about 20 seconds left here. That's it. Nice. Remember, everything is 30, 30, 10. That is the formula today. Looking good. Find that crunch up top. Really hold that contraction. Less than 10. You got this. You got this. In three, two, we rest. Perfect. All right. New combo. New abdominal or core exercise, okay? Here we go. We're about to begin. Now, we're going to go hook, uppercut, hook, bob and weave. We are starting with the lead hand, back hand, bob and weave. As far as the numbers are concerned, sometimes we call the rear uppercut the six. In my world, we call it the four, so I included them both in that top corner of your screen. We're going to go hook, up, hook, under, under. Hook, up, hook, under, under. Now, it doesn't matter what you call it, what number. What I care about are those elbows up. Are you turning at those hips? Are you using those hips for the uppercut? All right, abdominals or core. Here we go. We go to a bear and a twist. So, toes are tucked underneath, knees directly underneath the hips. Shoulders and wrists are aligned. And you're just turning that core of yours so that the bottom hip touches. You're twisting. Let the hip touch the ground. All the while, those knees are up off the ground you are controlling this twist if the twist is too much you could always just hold in bare position three two one awesome job shake shake it loose we rest here now we're going to start with that back hand so it's going to be the rear hook uppercut rear hook get ready for it here we go hook up hook under under hook up hook under under again my most important concern is that you are turning you are getting those elbows up you're using those hips for power and then you're moving your head underneath bang up bang good hook up hook under do it again hook up hook underneath come on roll it out baby come on uh 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 good keep it loose and bringing it back to that bear twist here we go Toes tucked, knees underneath those hips, wrists underneath those shoulders. We're holding that core steady. We are twisting right to left, left to right. That's it. Good, good, good. Pull the abs in nice and tight. Back is straight. Good. Ten more seconds. And like I mentioned before, if this is too much, you just hold that bear in isometric hold, okay? You always have options with me. Three, two, and one. Yeah, yeah. Looking 
good. Just like that. Just like that, we got a new combo and a new core exercise. Let's do this. Here we go. So this is what's happening. We're double jabbing. We're going up. We're going back. We're going side. We're going side. All right? That's what we are doing. We are working forward, back, side, side with the double jab. So you're going to learn to double jab. You're going to learn to jab as you're moving, whether it's forward, back, to the left, to the right. Yeah? Boom, boom. And boom, boom. And move back and front and side to side. And three, two, and one. Good. We're going to go on to our backs now. Lay, to, lay back down, arms behind the head, and we're just going to flutter the legs up and down. Okay. Legs about, I don't know, five inches off the ground. As long as your lower back is engaged, pulling the abdominals in towards the back of the spine. Shoulder blades are also engaged. There's some space underneath your chin, keeping those elbows nice and wide, and of course, utilizing your breath in order to get those flutter repetitions. Now, back issues, always take those legs back higher. Take your rest here. So you have a second turn to do this, a second chance, so you're going to find out what's better for you. We're going back now. So we're going to go back, up, up, back, back. Side, 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 in those double jabs. Remember, every round repeats. So this is your second opportunity to make these jabs better using our footwork. That's it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're going front. You're going back. You're going side. You're going side. That's it. Doing excellent. Come on. Learn to punch and move at the same time. Yeah. Come on. Nice and quick hands. Nice and quick feet. Yup, changing your direction, taking it back down. All right, like I was cueing before, if your lower back bothers you, those legs come up higher, okay? Otherwise, you're about five inches or so off the ground and you're fluttering those kicks. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Good. All the while engaging shoulder blades are off the ground. Space underneath the chin, right? Elbows are nice and wide, keeping the back engaged. Lower back is pressed firmly into the ground. Good, keeping the core tight in three, two, one. Let's move it on. Round six is done. Round six is done. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling good and you're ready to kill this workout. We've got round seven coming up right now. We're gonna go duck, two, duck, two, duck, two. So all you're doing is sitting into the seat, countering with that backhand. The two is your cross. Sit into the seat, cross. Uh-huh, cross, duck, cross, duck. Pasta. We are planting that feet and we're just literally sitting into that seat. Good. Sometimes we call this a boxer squat. We're just ducking, turning and pivoting with that too. Good. This is where you generate your power. Notice how those hips move and turn, right? Generate the power to get execute a powerful cross. Three, two, one. Rest here. Let's take it down to the ground. We're going to onto our forearm. So it's a plank push up. Shoulders to thumbs, hips up towards the sky. Shoulders to thumbs, hip up towards the sky. This is a low plank push up into a dolphin plank. If this is too advanced for you, dolphin plank is just fine or an iso hold of the plank where you just hold that a low plank in place. That's fine too. Listen, all I care about is you are engaging your core, right? Sure, we get fancy sometimes, but that's okay. You can keep it basic into a regular plank. Take it up, shake it loose, rest. We are going to move on. We're going back to that same cross, duck, cross. Here we go, round eight. Let's go. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Generate that energy. Power through those hips. That's it. Come on, time to get badass. I call this workout your badass boxing hit workout, baby. Come on. Yes, there's a reason for it. You've got to be badass in your mind. The body follows. Good. That's it. Give me that attitude when you throw that cross strong. Don't get hit, get hit, right? Don't get hit, I meant and hit. Don't get hit. You know what I meant to say. <laughs> Low plank, push up, dolphin. What I meant to say was don't get hit and hit. That's what I meant to say. Sometimes I get excited and I fumble on my words. Do you forgive me? Let's go. Keep going with that core, baby. Come on. Shoulders to thumbs. Hips up towards the ceiling. Engagement is important. Your pace is important. And like I said, blank holes are fine. Rest 10 seconds. Get ready. New combination. New exercise. I hope you're having fun. I love working out with you. All right. We shushan. Cross. Shushan. Bang, 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 bang. Back hands. Shushan. Two. Ha. Shushans are those quick flurries to the body with those uppercuts.
sets and we throw that back hand. Sa 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 boom. Sa 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 boom. Move in between those punches. Give me a little bit more of a hustle now. Come on, you're moving the feet in between. I right? never stay in the same spot. Remember I said don't get hit? I meant it. Boom. I know we're kind of pretending here. We're shadow boxing. We're not really in a ring, but keep it moving. Here we go. Check this out. Lie on your left side or working the right side. Staggered V-sit. Bring those legs down together. Right, left, back down together. Up, up, back down together. Up, up, now too much for you. You can always bend your knees and kick it out and doing the same thing. Or you can give me side crunches. Or honestly, whatever kind of ab exercise you want here. It really doesn't matter as long as you're working and not just watching me. All right, you've got three. Two and one, take it up, shake it loose. So we are going back to our shoe shine cross. Get ready for it. Ding, 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 right here. Bang, round 10. 28 total rounds today, my loves. So we're 10 rounds in, 10 rounds deep. Remember, they're one minute rounds. So this is gonna go by so fast. Don't be like, oh my God, I got 18 more rounds to go. Uh-uh, this is gonna be a fast moving workout, all right? Ba, 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 ba. I want you to just focus. Throw those hands, bang, into the two. Throw those hands, bang, into the two. Five more seconds. Let's go, let's go. Give me, give me that hustle. Yes, take it down to the ground. We're going to go onto the opposite side. Left side here. Here we go. Up, up, slowly bring it down. Up, up, slowly bring it down. Good, come on. Yes. Nice job. Let's do this. Come on. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds here. Going into round 11 strong. Come on, finish first that 10th round in three, two, and rest. Okay, here we go. Take your full deep breath in. You're doing great. Shake it loose if you've got time. Give this video a thumbs up so I know you like it. Here we go. Jab, uppercut, duck it back twice. I want you to move. Bang, boom, uppercut, yes. Bang up, duck, duck. Good, jab up, duck, duck. Front hand, back hand, bang, bang. I want you to keep moving. Notice, I'm moving the head, I'm ducking. As I move back, footwork, head movement, all defense. Punch, punch, defense. That's it, less than 10 seconds. Uh-huh, good, good, good. Three, two, and one. What are we gonna do next? Oh, roller coaster, hips up towards the ceiling. Sweep the chest into up dog into plank. This is a roller coaster. Now, too much for you. This is your opportunity to work on just your regular push ups. All right, roller coaster is a push up variation, mainly working those shoulders. Okay, We're working those deltoids. But if it's too much, give me a regular push up, knee or off the knee, it doesn't matter. Get strong, that's what matters. Three, two, one. Good. I always like to challenge you. Shake it loose to catch your breath. I'd like to challenge you, okay? We don't want to keep things basic all the time. We want to challenge ourselves. Three, two, one, let's go. Jab, uppercut, duck back twice. Move that head. Uh-huh. Jab, uppercut, let's go. Yup, yup. You got it. Jab up, move. Jab up, move. Good. Yes, yes. Nice work. Good, good, good. Keep it moving. Keep that hustle. You slug it up top. Nose, chin. Move back. Come on. Nice. Take it down now. Roller coaster. Let's work on those push ups. This roller coaster is a push up variation. It's advanced. Yes, it is. I like to throw advanced things at you because how else will you get better unless you try and do things, do the hard things? You won't know unless you try. And if you fall in your face, that's okay. That's okay. You get back up. Otherwise, you're like, if I, I tried one and I can't do it, you go to regular push -up. Get strong either way. Three, two, one. Nice. Good, good, good. Shake it loose. Nice. We're going to move on to the next round, baby. Let's do it. All right. Two hooks up top. Two hooks to the body. Lead, rear. Bang, 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 bang. Good. We're starting with, if you're an orthodox fighter, left, right, left, right. Head, head, body, body. Good. Again. Head, head, body, body. Use the level changes. Use those legs for those body shots. Right? When I say level change, that means you got to dig in. you got to show me you're not standing up tall. Right? Always stay grounded. Okay? Always stay grounded. 
good. Let's take it down. We're going to sit up and twist. Right side only. So I'm twisting towards the right knee. Mm -hmm. Sit up, twist. I'm keeping it to one side and I'm just repping. You're giving me volume, volume, volume. Good. That's it. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep those twists. Keep those sit-ups. Don't worry, we have a second opportunity to get to the other side. In three, two, one, rest. Catch your breath here. If you've got the chance, thumbs up, baby. If not, let's move on. Okay, here we go. This time we're going to the body first. Then we're moving to the head. So similar, we're level changing still. We're still going with those lead and rear hooks. Whether it's to the body, to the head. Use those hips, use those legs. Boom, 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 boom. Good, come on, give me an extra hustle now. Two hooks to the body, two hooks to the head. Orthodox fighters, it's left, right, left, right. Southpaw fighters, it's right, left, right, left. Let's go, front hand, backhand, front hand, backhand. Boom, 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 travel it. And rest, we're going into, well not rest, we're going into those abs. Sit up and twist this time, other side. Other side, all about repetition and volume. High volume. Get as many reps as you can during our 30 second interval of which you only have 10 seconds left. So pick it up a little bit more. Use your breath. The only way you can get those volume to get this volume is to use, use your breath. Okay, three, two, and one. Shake it loose. Perfect. Round 14 done. I told you this workout is going by fast, right? Yes, that's it. Looking good. Let's do this thing. One, slip, three, two, jab, slip, hook, cross. You are jabbing, slip towards the front hand into a hook cross. Jab, slip, hook cross. Jab, slip left, hook cross. Or jab, slip right, hook cross if you are a lefty. Nice, okay, let's do this. 10 seconds, finishing up round 15 because next up are abs. These rounds go by fast, give me that hustle, three, two and one taking it down to the ground on your hands and feet we are going to a crab reach and turn hips up high bridge we're going to reach for the um, wrist and then reach for the fingers all right so we go up and back and then we twist and over up and back turn your body twist and over again and don't worry if you're like what the hell is this you can always hold your crab all right and you do have a second opportunity so don't get discouraged in three two one shake it loose the whole purpose of this workout is that you do your best you don't have to look perfect you don't have to be perfect all right it's just about getting you strong jab slip cross jab slip cross the more you get it, the faster you get. Yes? Keep practicing. Sa, 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 sa. You have to be open-minded with boxing. Right? Some of us just shut it out because you're like, I don't get it. I got two left feet. I don't get it. I'm not coordinated enough. Uh-uh. Get that out of your head. You work at it until you get better at it. That's how this goes. Take it down. Same with exercises that are difficult. Reach up and back and turn when something is too much for you you just have to be brave enough to throw yourself at it even if it's not pretty the body learns how to move you just have to practice practice that's why they always say practice makes perfect no practice makes better practice makes better you don't have to be perfect you just want to get better and better every time three two and one like that round 16 is over we're moving on to round 17 thumbs up if you're liking the workout comment say i love this workout if you do otherwise we're moving on okay we're slipping into that rear hook okay so i call this a slip four or a slip six for my clients that work with me one-on-one -on -one, this is your six for those that are used to taking other people's workouts on YouTube or wor working with other coaches, this is now primarily the four. This is everybody calls this one the four. It's the uh, the newer the newer number system. Good bang! I learned the super old school way. The rear hook is a super hard punch to throw. Okay, because the target is a lot harder. Now we're going into the inchworm. Jump out into push up. Inchworm. Jump out into push up too much just inform the legs in inform the legs out and then push up 
or you can eliminate the push-up altogether. This is the most advanced version. I'm asking you to just literally jump your legs out and land into the push-up. Good, you've got three seconds, two seconds, and one round 17 is done. Moving on, baby, moving on. Nice job, take a full deep breath in. You're doing great, let's go. Back into the same combination. Slip, rear hook. As, as I was saying before, rear hooks are really hard to throw in the fact that it's hard to land. That's why I learned it as a six as far as a hierarchy of, of numbers, right? Jab is the easiest punch to throw, which is why it's a one. Six is the harder punch to throw, but we call it a four because it's easier to remember. Three is your front hook, four is your back hook. Don't get all caught up in the number system, so just follow my lead. Now, pike jump. Push up in pike position and form the legs out. I changed this variation slightly for you. We made this a little harder. This is the shoulder push up. Yup. Pike push up here. Walk those legs out. Jump into a pike. Pike push up here. Walk those legs out. As I mentioned before, you could always inform the legs in or out. You do your best. Nice work. This one is done, baby. This one is done. Catch your breath. You're doing fantastic. Let's move it on now. All right. Double lead uppercut. Pop, pop. Good. Pop, pop. Yep. Pop, pop. Excellent work. Pop, pop. That's all we're doing is you're doubling the lead uppercut. If you are a southpaw fighter, this is your right hand. If you are orthodox like me, the righty, you are throwing your left uppercuts. Boom, boom. Come on, use the hips, use the hips. Bang, bang. Good, again. Now, follow my lead here. On your back, rock it to sit, hold. Kick the leg out, rock to sit and bicycle. Back to tabletop, kick it out, bicycle. Too much, regular rock to sit is okay. Sometimes I understand the choreography gets a little too much for people. That is okay. I am giving you one and one. One regular rock to sit and one rock to sit in bicycle crunch. And we're alternating right and left. Take it up. Round 19 is done. Rest here, we're moving on to 20. So, we are going into the rear uppercut and doubling it up. Boom, round 20. There's only 20 rounds. You know what that means? We're almost done here. Of course, we got the bonus though at the end. I know you look forward to those. Bang, bang, and if you're new to my channel, yes, I always have a bonus. That's just how I go. That's how I roll. Boom, boom, you think it's done after 20? Not really. Yep, yeah, round 20 here. Up, up, rear uppercut. Okay, so a rear uppercut is usually a little bit easier to land than the rear hook. That's why I call it a four, but I understand we call it six. Okay, I know, I keep having to explain myself, but I know a lot of us are used to that number system. We're back into the core, we're back into the core. Stay with me, stay with me, that's it. Rock to sit. Sit in bicycle. If you don't like the rock to sit in bicycle, you just go regular tabletop position. Or change the exercise. That's okay too. That's okay too. Three, two, one. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Breathe. I'm, you can clearly tell I'm getting tired here. But we are going to keep it going. We're going strong. Okay. No punches. We roll it out. Look what I'm doing. Slipping left, rolling right. Slipping right, rolling left. And I'm creating space by stepping it out with my leg. All right, so I, I don't stay planted. I step it out and roll. Mm -hmm. I get out. Huh, get out. Yes. Good. And you're going both ways, yeah? Alternating. All right, take it down. Okay, plank position, jack and top. Twice, down dog. Out, out. So you don't have to tap if you don't want to. You could always just regular plank jack for two and then hips up towards the ceiling. Okay? Or just down dog. Whatever feels cool for you. Okay? Just get into that moving plank position. This is a moving plank. That's all this is. A variation of a plank. Get fancy. Get a little cardio with the plank jacks. Get those hips up towards the ceiling. Activating some back and core. And rest. Okay, we're gonna go back to rolling out again. We're repeating, remember that. All right, here we go, roll it out. Round 
22. Duck roll. Give me some space. Good. Give that head. All about the footwork. All about that head movement. Notice we're not throwing any punches. We're dodging punches here now. That's what we're doing. 10 more seconds. We're getting defensive. Less than 10, baby. Come on. Keep it alive. Keep it alive. Good. Three, two, one. Back to the plat, uh, planks. This time we're going shoulder taps and then something called the dynamic beast. Shoulder taps. Hips to heels and to plank. So I've changed this into a different variation. You can repeat what we did in round 21 or you can follow me here. Or you can change up the exercise entirely. I'm okay with that too. Do your best. Do your best. Good. And good. Take it up. Shake it loose. Rest. How are we doing so far? I want to know after the workout, of course, give me a comment. I want to know how you did. All right. Moving on. 23. 1, 2, 1, 2 up top. Duck. 1, 2, 1, 2 body. These are straight punches. 4 up top. 4 down. Head, 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 head. Body, 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 body. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Sit. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Good. Level changes. All about those legs. You know, I don't like when people say that boxing doesn't involve legs. It surely does. Boxing is a total, whole, full body workout. It is. Those legs are working, baby. Good. Taking it down, jackknife. Both legs. Arms behind the head. Come up. Lift those legs up. Boom. 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 Good. Lift. Lower abs working. Mid abs working. Upper abs working. The entire section is working. <laughs> yes, 10 seconds. Come on. You could do this. We're getting everything done today. Beautiful. Take it up, shake it loose. We are repeating again, yeah? Full deep breath in. We're going back to those straight punches up top. Duck to the body. Here we go. Pop, 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 pop. Bang, 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 bang. Sa, 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 sa. Boom, 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 boom. You like my sound effects? Oh, man. If you can only hear me, you should hear me breathe. I am super audible, really loud, right? People around me are like, Sylvia, you are crazy, woman. You are crazy. Whatever. Call me crazy. I'm getting a good workout in. Bang, 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 bang. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, and I urge you to do the same thing. Make noise. This helps with your breathing. And rest. We're going back down to those jackknives. So we take it down. Arms behind the head. Lift. Legs come up and down. Notice the legs never really touch. Barely touch. We pull back in. Good. Right. That's it. Keep it moving. Ten seconds on the clock. And just like that, round 24 is almost done. Yes. It's okay to slow down because I know you're getting tired. Three, two, one. Take it up. Shake it loose. Good. Call me crazy. I make tons of noises. Oh. All right. Duck, uppercut, step. Duck, uppercut, duck, uppercut, step. So we're stepping side to side again, using those legs for those ducks. Front hand, back hand, step. Duck, front hand, back hand, step. Ducks in between, using those legs, right? Uh-huh. Counter punches. Movement. Learn to step and move. Bang, bang. We never stay just, we never stay planted unless we're digging to the body, for example, right? Who's got to keep moving? Okay. Check this one out. This is a more progressed version. Spinal extension. Come up to plank. I'm moving my legs and arms out to the side and I travel my push up. Now I'm going to go to the other way. Boom. Good. Again. Lift. Plank. Hands and legs out into a push-up. Good. Lift. Plank. Hands and legs out into a push-up. Rest. Don't worry, you have a second opportunity to get it. At this point, I'm getting sweat into my eyes. I'm like, oh my God, can I finish this workout? Hell yeah, I can. Duck uppercut, duck uppercut, step. Hell yeah. Boom, boom. Not all of us are going to be super like excited to work out. At some point, sometimes our workouts kind of suck. But we got to finish them, right? Got to hurt a little bit. That's okay. Makes us stronger. 
cha. I got my backhand, my front hand, and I step. Backhand, front hand, step. Move. Move. All right, we're going back to the extension, working the backside. Lift, travel the plank. So we're coming up. Give me that push up. Boom. Travel it out. You do what's best for you. You keep it moving. Looking good. Nice work. Ten more seconds. That's it. Keeping it strong. Keeping it real strong. You've got three seconds. Two. One. Shake it loose. All right. Full deep breath in. We're, we are literally almost done here. Come on. Straight punches, uppercuts, hooks. One burpee after this. Yes. So if you're wondering how many, straight punches, 10. Uppercuts, 10. Hooks, 10. You give me a burpee and then an extra push up. One, two, take it up. Straight punches. 10, uppercuts, 10, hooks, 10, unrest, all right, going into that half sit up, arms behind the head, so we're just going halfway down, halfway up, we start up top, strong back here, if this is too much and too much pressure on your back, which it can be, this is very advanced, give me regular sit ups, okay, but if you've got the strength, work on those lower and mid abs, okay, Halfway down, all the way up. Halfway down, halfway up. Uh-huh, and woo, we've got one more round. And then, I, like I said, there is the bonus. So I'll remind you again, we're going 10 straight punches, 10 uppercuts, 10 hooks. A burpee with an extra push up, here we go. And then uppercuts, and then hooks, 10, 10, 10. We go down into that burpee, and then you give me an extra push up. Work at your pace. 20 seconds left, 10, 10, 10. Yup. And then you go with that burpee push-up. Push-up for two. That's it. Good. Burpees have push-ups in them. Okay? Yup, 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 yup. Keep it moving. All right. We're going into that half sit-up. And then guess what? We are doing a bonus. So we're almost done. Use your breath. Shh. Halfway up. Halfway. Good. Halfway. Up. That's it. Halfway into up. 15 seconds to finish here. Round 28. Let's go. This is it. This is it. Come on. You can do this. I don't just blindly say that. I mean it. You can. Come on. Three, two, one. Take it up. We go into that bonus jab. Jab. Non-stop jabs. Now listen to me. There is no timer. No countdown. Just listen. I want straight out until I cue you otherwise. Straight out until I cue you otherwise. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And three, two, one. We change it. Slip, 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 slip. Side to side. Side to side. Come on. Hands up. Move left to right. Right to left. Slip, 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 slip. Good. Listen to my cue. I will coach you. Come on. Three, two, one. Change it. Crosses. Cross, cross. Repetition now. Throw it. Power, power. Bring it back to the face. Boom, boom. Back to the face. Not to the waist, but to the face. Let's go. Roll towards the lean hand. Down, up, down, up. I'm going towards the left. Right to left. Right to left. Right to left. Right to left. Good. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. And if you are an orthodox fighter, it's right to left. If you're a southpaw, it's left to right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay with me. Stay with me. In three, two, one. We're going lead hooks. Three, 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 three. Come on. Keep it moving. That's it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Keep breathing and moving, breathing and moving. Three. Turn those hips, baby. Power in the hips, power in the legs. You got it. You got it. And roll towards the backhand. Now roll, roll, roll to the back, to the back. Yup. Using that head. Keep it going. You're almost there. Roll, 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 roll. Come on. You can do it. Now, rear hook, rear hook, you're almost done, rear hook. Let's go, let's go, you're almost there. Rear hook, yup. Power, 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 do not give up now, do not give up, we're almost done. 
All right, rock back, rock back, rock back, rock back. Defense. Notice I'm going one punch and I'm, I'm showing, throwing you, show, throwing you, and showing you some defenses. Rock back, rock back. Drill them. Drill them. Feet are planted here, and we're just creating space. All right, we're going into lead uppercuts now. Up, up, up. Good. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Come on. So close. So close. Yup. Up, up. Now duck, duck, duck. Use those legs, duck, duck, duck. Uh -huh. Sit into the seat. You're like, when is this bonus over? I'll tell you when it's over. It's not over yet. Come on. Push for those legs. Push for those legs. Good. Good. Get strong. Now rear uppercut. Boom. 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 Stay tough. Stay tough. Stay tough. Good. Keep drilling. This is how you get better. Good. In three, two, one. Footwork. Footwork. Now you just move around. Move around. Move around. Keep breathing. Keep pushing. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Keep pushing. Keep moving. Change up. Change up your direction. Yes, yes. This is how we do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Work some lateral motion. Work some forward motion. Work some pivots. You've got three, two, and one. Straight punches. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Non stop now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, Shushan. Shushan. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. You got this. You got this. Yes. Come on, Shushan. Guess what? Hooks right now. Left and right. Right and left. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. Get those elbows up. I know their shoulders are burning at this point. Yeah. You're breathing heavy. Three, two, one. Done. We are done. Ready to go, champ. See you next time. Woo. Amazing, amazing job today. I am so proud of you. Now you know exactly what to do. Share this video with others. Smash that thumbs up button so I know you liked it. Engage with me in the comments so I know how you're doing. I love interacting with you. And of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell notification so you never miss a workout. I can't wait to see you next time, champ. Way to go.